simply learn your pace your place hello and welcome to certified business analysis professional cbap preparatory course offered by simply learn this introductory module will give a brief account of the cbap certification and its objectives this certification course is designed for individuals with widespread knowledge of business analysis Certified individuals are proficient in recognizing the needs of a business so that the most applicable solution can be identified and implemented. Since the first certification exam took place in November 2006, the importance of it to the organizations have increased manifold. In this course, all the aspects of this certification exam will be dealt with in detail. Let us begin by looking into the agenda of the module in the next slide. In this module, we will get an overview or description of the Certified Business Analysis Professional Training, CBAP course. We will then move on to the learning objectives. Additionally, we will find out the value of CBAP to professionals and organization. We will then move on to understand about this tutorial, the exam prerequisites. Finally, we will look into the CBAP exam pattern, the practice questions, and the reference material to consult for further information. We will move on to the course overview in the following slide. The Certified Business Analysis Professional, CBAP, designation is a professional certification for individuals with extensive business analysis experience. This course covers the basic skill sets required by business analysts, BA professionals, based on the industry recognized standards and benchmark such as Institute of Business Analysis, IIBA, Business Analysis Body of Knowledge, BABOC, and other industry best practices. The course also provides exposure to BA concepts, which helps you apply the knowledge gained during the program. In the next slide, we'll find out the learning objectives of this course. After completing the course, you will be able to determine the skill set required to be an effective business analyst. You will be able to comprehend the role and function of a business analyst. Additionally, the course will enable you to outline the core knowledge areas, their activities, tasks, deliverables, and their relationships. Finally, you will be able to work effectively with the key stakeholders involved in each process. Moving on, let us understand the value of CBAP to professionals. CBAP is one of the rapidly growing professional courses with increasing number of people trying to understand its value. An individual with CBAP certification will add more value to the organization. It will also open the prospects for growth and new job avenues. CBAP assists an individual to demonstrate knowledge of the skills necessary to be an effective business analyst. It helps them in developing a professional level of competence in the principles and practices of business analysis. The individual will be able to participate in a recognized professional group. The certified person will also get recognition of their competence from professional peers and management. It aids the individual to advance their career potential by creating a separate and distinct path within the information technology industry and business community. They will also be able to demonstrate dedication to the business analysis profession. In the next slide, we will look into the value of CBAP to the organization. Professionals who are CBAP certified bring myriad of value to an organization. The major benefits of hiring such a professional are that they are acknowledged as competent individuals who perform a role which is increasingly recognized as a vital component of any successful project. CBAPs can be identified as individuals with an advanced level of knowledge and qualifications. Additionally, they follow established standards as outlined in the IIBA BABOC. Finally, they produce reliable quality results with increased efficiency and consistency. We will focus on the information about this tutorial in the next slide. This course is categorized into seven modules. The first module will introduce us to CBAP. In the second module, we will find out how to plan the analysis approach. 
elicitation is dealt with in detail in the third module. The fourth module is on requirements management and communication. Enterprise and requirements analysis covers the fifth and sixth modules respectively. Finally, we will look into solution assessment and validation. To help the professionals grasp the concept, quizzes are provided at the end of each module. Additionally, there are three sets of test papers from IIBA which will help the candidate in preparing for the certification exam. Let us find out the prerequisites of the exam in the next slide. In order to get the CBAP certification, there are certain requirements to be met by the professional. The business analyst should have at least 7,500 hours of relevant experience in the BA field spanning over the last 10 years. The individual should also have more than 900 hours in at least four of the six core BABOC knowledge areas. High school or college degree is the minimum educational qualification required by the professional. The individual should have 21 hours of professional development in the last four years. Additionally, they would require two references from a career manager, client or a CBAP. Finally, the individual would require a signed code of conduct. Moving on, let us look into the exam pattern in the following slide. The duration of the certification exam is of three and a half hours. Although the exam questions are majorly based on the BABOC guide, however, it is not the only source. The marks required to qualify is based on a cut score, which is determined with the aid of a psychometric procedure. The exam pattern will include 150 questions. Some of the questions, for example, definition, recall, etc., are based on comprehension. There are other questions, for example, given a scenario, which is the best course of action, is on situational analysis. This would require performing analysis to arrive at the answer. It is to be noted that the IIBA certification body will not publicly reveal the cut score or the pass rate for any exam. All scores are normalized to a standard scale, 500 being the minimum score needed to pass, not the maximum possible score, and is mentioned in the failed exam result. Let us discuss the practice questions in the next slide. Quiz questions are provided at the end of each chapter to check participants' understanding. Practice test papers from IIBA are also provided. This paper indicates how CBAP questions could be presented in the exam. However, they should not be used as a sole source of knowledge. Practice questions may or may not be similar to the questions that will appear in the actual exam. However, these questions will help the candidate revisit the topics covered in the chapter. The practice test paper questions should not be considered as a measurement of the candidate's ability to answer questions correctly in the exam. Actual exam questions will test the candidate's practical application of the knowledge. The IIBA website contains valuable information on the CBAP exam. The URL of the websites for different reference material is listed on the slide. Wish you all the best for the course. In the next lesson, we will be introduced to CBAP.